Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Fiction Channel. And today, I'm going to be trying two items from Sonic Drive-In. A sandwich, as well as a side dish. The sandwich is their new steak, grilled cheese, bacon thing. Um, it's on a Texas toast. It has this chopped up steak. It has bacon. It has a mayo sauce as well as a cheese sauce as well as cheese. Did I say bacon yet? And jalapeno slices. There's also a non-spicy version. The non-spicy version uh, does not have the spicy cheese sauce and it does not have the jalapenos. But it does have a honey barbecue sauce added to it. But we're going to go ahead and take a few bites of this. I'll tell you what I think about it. Here we go. Um, the main flavor I'm getting here is from the jalapeno slices, uh, the, the cheese second, and, uh, the, the steak really is missing, like a beefy flavor. The bacon is smoky and salty, so that's good. Crunchy, crispy, good bacon. Uh, but as like the steak is supposed to be the main emphasis of the sandwich, it's just missing a really good beefiness. Take another bite. This one has some bacon that I can see. Maybe this one will be better. The sandwich is really not my favorite. There's nothing necessarily bad about it. Um, <clears throat> I wish the bread was either like definitively toasted, so it had a, like a crunch or a crispiness to it. This bread is like really floppy. It's like I don't know if you can see how it's like barely turned a different color. Um, and it's just a really dense bread. Um, it is Texas toast, but you can have like a lighter bread and still be a thick cut. This is a very thick cut. And it's almost like a brioche-ish texture to it, feel. So it's like having a uh, meat between two sponges, basically. It's thick and dense and spongy. Uh, so, if you're going to Sonic, I would recommend that you skip this. Uh, it's just not to. Uh, you order a steak sandwich and you want something very beefy, and the meat on this is kind of bland. It's really depending on a lot of uh, everything else you put on there to make it a decent sandwich. And it's an okay sandwich at best. Second thing we have from Sonic are these barbecue seasoned tots. So these are supposed to taste like barbecue chips, except it's not a dust kind of seasoning. It is a liquidish seasoning. Um, so it is like a glisteny tot. It smells like barbecue. It's going to taste.
This is exactly uh, the flavor that advertises. The flavor is super reminiscent. So you open a bag of chips. And that sweet barbecue flavor. It's decent. Pretty good. If you really like barbecue chips, you're going to love this. The tots still have a crispy, crunchy exterior. So you still get that barbecue potato chip kind of sensation. The big difference being it's not thin and crispy. And the interior is still, you know, moist. Now, with the seasoning, the exterior is also moist. So you have uh, really reminiscent flavors and some textures of a bag of barbecue chips. But it's a, a tot, so it's going to be tender on the inside. And the seasoning is wet as well. So, if the flavor of the barbecue chips is what you're looking for, this is going to be good. If you prefer your things to be small, light, crispy, and relatively dry, then you're probably not going to really enjoy this, that part of these tots. There you have it. I do like these. I'll give them a thumbs up. Uh, the sandwich is not inedible. Um, I don't dislike it enough that I'm going to throw it away and not have lunch today, but I wouldn't order it again, and I wouldn't, if someone asked me, I wouldn't say it's something uh, they should necessarily go and try. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment to tell me everything you hated about it, and I'll see you in the next one. So, goodbye.